morning. This is Delana Diva and this is the 6th of April. I'm here with you today for your, my short mini reading, my 10 minute reading that I do for all my YouTube friends and um, my clients. And I have to say a big thank you to all of you who have written to me and, and been so encouraging and nice and I am extremely grateful for that. As you know, I channel in with my angel guide Liana and help you with your everyday life and your everyday questions. So, here's the first question, and this is for Erica. And she says, Dear Dilani, my name is Erica. I've been serious about Tom. The issue he is the issue is he has been so hurt by his past relationships. He keeps wavering with me romantically, he gets closer, both emotionally and physically, and then pulls away. Is he in love with me? Many have referred to us as twin flames. It just confuses me and I just need clarification. All right, Erica, let me quickly look at this one and see what I get for you. I will give you a short answer in a nutshell. Okay, just let me channel in with my guide. Just a moment, please. Hey, Juliana, about Erica and Tom. Give me an answer about their future. Does he care about her? Give me an Okay. Yes, he does care about you, Erica. Very much so, I feel. However, I feel that he is going to be in this kind of rocking back and forth mood uh, for about six months to a year. Um, it's almost as if his spirit is stabilizing itself. So if you choose to see him and continue to see him for another year or so, yes, I feel he will commit to you, honey. Uh, emotionally, yes, absolutely. You know that. He is very much into you and cares about you very much. So you know sometimes we are in different place, places spiritually and it takes a little while for people to embrace such a deep commitment as a marriage or a long time lifetime partner so give it a little time i think he'll come through for you hun okay thank you for writing to me okay the next question is hi my name is brianna and i'm 19 years old hi brianna i'm glad that you have faith in the spirits um i moved i moved away from home where i had my first boyfriend his name is Cedra and I can't seem to get over him. He's still in Sky School and I feel low about it. Can you please tell me something about his situation? All right, honey, let me focus here and see what I'm getting about Cedra. Okay, just a moment. Angelina, connect us with spirit about Cedra and Brianna. Is there a future for them? Okay, sweetie, um, there is a lot of connection there between the both of you. However, um, you know, he's still very young and it's going to take him many years to come to a deeper understanding about what he truly wants. What I see is more of a relationship based on a friendship. Um, he can stray love. Um, a serious commitment is going to be difficult for him. Uh, he has to be, I'm getting the number 26 to 28. I think that is a time that he's going to really look at settling down. Uh, before that, uh, it's possible that y'all can connect. Uh, if you do stay in touch with him, I see him connecting with you often. But um, for him to really commit to a long-term relationship and remain faithful to a long-term relationship is going to be a little difficult. A lot of work in this relationship if you go forth, for, forward with it, mainly to do with age, you know, because we have a lot of questions when we are young and sometimes we want to experiment in different ways to get answers and that can be a little hurtful. So I would um, treat him as a friend, hun, if it's possible and take it from there, okay? All right, so then we have a question from Reagan, and he says, Hi, Delani, I saw you on YouTube, so I signed up for your mailing list. How sweet. Thank you, Reagan. I hope you enjoy my little um, favorite things I send out to my friends. I love your videos. Oh, how cute. Thank you, honey. I've been pursuing a certain career, and I believe I can make it. However, this field is hard to get into. So my question is, first of all, will I be able to get into this career? So, and 
so on and so forth. And so, uh, Regan, there's a lot here that you're asking for, and I can't do it in my little 10 minute reading. So, if you want more um, details on this, give me a call. But let me focus, honey. Let me see what comes across about you getting into your career, okay? Just a minute, please. Angelina, how will Regan fare in this career? Okay, she says there is a slight block in this, in that that sometimes you're not focused on this love. Your head goes flying all over the place. I think you're an artist of sorts. Your energy and spirit seems quite like that. Uh, but you know, artists are creators. So you must, uh, you know, of course go all over in your head, but come back to a place of um, sanity and strength. And you also must uh, harness your spirits. You see, a horse let loose is not a good thing. A house that's reined in is very good. It has more direction. So um, imagine yourself to be this flamboyant horse and that you're running around, but you're coming back to where you started. Then yes, I feel that you absolutely can. It's going to take about um, two years of continual focus. This is more about the path than I feel the prediction, honey. So she's giving you some guidance. Uh, stay focused, uh, stay um, true to your cause. And I feel in, in two years, yes, you will be able to achieve it. Yes, it is a very competitive field. Uh, it, uh, I, I hear music in the background and I also hear water. So I'm not sure what these two things are, but uh, we can look at that more in time, okay? So yes, stay true to your path and in two years you will be able to achieve your goals. Okay, and the last question is for Georgiana. Hello Dilani, we have broken up and I just wanted to know if Brent Pearson and I are going to work things out. Okay Georgiana, just give me a minute honey. Angelina, is Brent and Georgiana going to work things out? There are difficulties, Georgiana. I am sorry. For some reason, he doesn't seem to want commitment. It's a difficult road. I feel um, that you will connect with him, but um, I'm not getting a yes on that, love. I'm sorry. Um, I, as I said, uh, I see connection, but then I see parting again, and it, it keeps going on like this without, and I don't see a stop. I only read for about a year to two years down the road, hon. It's not fair to read anything more, you know. Uh, we have a lot of choices to make in life, and we must embrace those choices and, and look at it afresh each time. So the answer to that is you will be together, I feel, in the future, but the kind of commitment, if you're looking at marriage or a long-time partner, it's not coming across. He's not making that decision. And I don't feel it's because of you. I think it's because he has decided to be a little non-committal, huh? okay? So I apologize for that answer, but that's how it came across. And I do wish you all a wonderful, wonderful week. And I hope you had a great Easter. I did have a wonderful Easter with some of my very, very close friends. And it was just totally fabulous. So um, these holiday seasons are, are great. They kind of bring you together and give you so much to think about. And I am grateful for all of you who are writing to me. Keep writing. I enjoy reading all your emails. And when I can, I will write back to you. Okay. And I remain humble and I remain faithful. So have a wonderful day. Namaste.